We are back. Dark Parables 10. Goldilocks. And the Fallen Star. Of course, don't forget the Fallen Star. There is a big giant bear uh, mountain, I guess, in front of us. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and move forward. In the last episode, we met Princess Leda. And uh, she is fighting the Silver Stag robot. Beasts, mechanical beasts. So we're gonna go to the village docks here. Not a living soul in sight. Where is everyone? Good question. Bears. No one would decorate the statue with just a piece of chain. I bet something was hanging from it. We are looking for little snowflakes for the collectible down here you can see over here we have three of forty and there it is right there and we're also looking for morphing objects so that we can collect all of the parables so stay tuned for that if you see those and I don't click them please don't forget to uh, point, post those in the comments down below thank you very much I would also love to know what is your favorite dark parables so far. Not including this one, but so far. Or maybe including this one. I don't know. Just tell me which one is your favorite that you have played. Okay, so I've got a soldier figurine half. And I need a whetstone for here. I think we're going to find that. We also need a rope. Can we cut it? Cut the rope. Oh, okay, I must be thinking about something else. Oh wow, it just fell off the cliff there. Another mechanical beast. Good thing it won't be able to harm anyone. And we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves an axe handle. Excellent, so nice of that uh, mechanical beast to uh, have an axe handle buried within his belly or something. <laughs> I love the transitions from the animation back into the 2D scenes. Lovely. Very well done. This scene is uh, on the easier side. I find the fragmented object scenes, I don't know, they can be relatively straightforward when they're like this, when it's just not as many articles kind of on the scene and then they can be super challenging so would love to hear your thoughts on the fragmented object scenes as well okay let's see what we got here I'm looking for something with little little dots all over it and then something that looks this thing over here it's always difficult to judge the size or scale. See, yeah, there we go. That's that small one there. And then I think it's this thing with like the three rubies all over it. Oh, look, it's dripping oil. <laughs> nice. This is this like bad Santa's reindeer? Is that what this is? Ooh, look, more, more drippy oil. Oh, there it is. What a very pretty axe handle. That is another thing that the Dark Parables games are known for, is the tools. Just everything is so ornate. Gemmed up. Gold. Everything about it is just so exaggerated, I guess. That was actually a beautiful reference to a previous Dark Parable games. Let's see what that comes up with there. Ding dong! Oh, let's go to the old stairway then. So far so good! The next part will be tricky. The stag broke the bridge with its fall. The shield was once the battlefield of two knights in an internal struggle. The sun goddess statue made of pure gold. This deity must be popular with the locals. Geez, surprised nobody has stolen the statue. Look at how fancy it is. Phoenix. The all Phoenix-like. 
Whoa. What is she hiding here? These are symbols of the goddess's power. It is said that the sun goddess resides on the same star that shares her name. She's revered because she gave humanity the gift of fire. The sun goddess is temperamental but benevolent. She's considered the patron of soldiers and blacksmiths. Hmm. Neat. So the medallion's centerpiece is missing. What a beautiful view from here. So we're not going to be able to do much, are we? We have a Goldilocks dolly or something. Uh, a small axe? I'm glad I tried it first. Trying anything... Oh, tying anything to that would be dangerous. If I could find some kind of wedge, I could tie a rope and swing to it. Hmm. Well, we know the birdie belongs back here, so let's go ahead and put that bird up there. And I have a goldie... Oh, a goddess! I thought it was Goldilocks. A goddess pendant. Wow, that's quite magical. The door might open if I replace the missing symbol. Hmm. have to cut it down first. The rusty sword, I think we need to actually sharpen it on a whetstone here, but uh, I need to keep my eyes peeled from morphing things. Uh, I have a board tankard. Why the heck do I need that? Let's have a look at our map. Looks like we're supposed to be here. Hmm. We can do something here. Yay! Uh, you think? I don't think it's the goddess's locket. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if they've managed to restore it on the inside as well. Why can I touch this? I don't know. Small axle. I wonder if that's supposed to go here. No. Something needs to go around his neck. Oh, it's the sun goddess's pendant. Huh. Is that going to make that bear real? Whoa, no, it's just going to open it up. It's mouth. Okay. The bear isn't so fierce without its tooth. I happen to have it. got other things going on here. Let's put Goldilocks and the three bears. Interact with the objects to complete Goldilocks story. Hmm. Let's see here. Well, Bumblebee needs to go there. I'm gonna build this ladder up here. Hello! Oh, there she is. She's hiding. Another bumblebee. Lower the bridge. Uh... Interesting. There we go. Interact with the objects to complete the Goldilocks story. So let's see, we just gotta basically find a bunch of stuff. Okay, I can deal with that. What's in the cupboard? Now we gotta give everybody their things back. Aww. This is neat. Oh, I like the top hat for the bear that doesn't look like it fits. The bumblebee. And we got porridge! That's too hot, and it's too cold, and it's just right. Nifty. That one looks like a backwards H. 
And then that one. I don't know if I've got it right. It looks pretty good. Oh, maybe this one's wrong. There we are. Now we got a match, I would gather. Yep. See, sometimes the puzzles are just so intuitive. And other times you're like studying the instructions going, ah, <laughs> I don't know what to do next. Too low, too big, just right. Goldilocks and the three bears. We now have a rock wedge, but we do not have any rope though. Oops, that's not where I not want to be. Maybe it'd be a good idea to pound it in a bit to secure it. With my what? I have a couple soldiers. Soldrines? Oh, I see. It's the two halves. Whoa, there is our whetstone. I wonder which evil contraption should be placed here. Nice shield, though. Hmm. There, I've got these. I think we're going to be able to sharpen up our sword. That's. I think it's. Well, it says rusty. I thought it said dull. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Shines bright like brand new. And I now have a rope dope. Let's go swinging. Oh, I gotta pound it in first, don't I? Uh, tweezers and an ornate shield. I'm not sure where the shield's gotta go. Or the tweezers for that matter. Hmm. Uh, map? What do you got for me? Oh, apparently we got something back here. Hmm. Not gonna work. Axe handle doesn't work either. Hmm. Not much really for options here. That goes there, no. Okay. There's gotta be something here. Apparently there's something here. Oh jeez, a big giant rock. <laughs> Alright, fine. Now we get to swing, swing, swing. Oh, It's Jack! Oh no, the beast has him cornered! Where's his famous axe now? I have his axe handle. Where is the rest of it though? The only way I can help him is by finding his axe. Look how pretty that axe is. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Jack's axe. Here you go, buddy. beast well if it isn't my favorite detective I knew you'd show up eventually nothing ever gets past you does it nope and how in the world did you get up there so quickly I owe you one so I'll give you a warning this case is far more complicated than you could possibly imagine the stag attacks aren't even the half of it. Are they like the three quarters of it? And if you have any plans for that star, don't bother. I'll be the one to make a wish. Bye bye now. <laughs> okay, Jack. Jack is saucy. Whatever are we going to do now? Oh, he's gone. Chapter number two. There are ten chapters in the game, if you were curious about that. 
Are you a friend or are you a foe? The answer to this, Parisian allies would know. Which beast protects our country so brave? Maybe an owl or a bat from a cave? A dragon aloft with red scales of fire? Or a gray wolf so brave so dire? The truth is that it's none of these. Our winter sleeper, the foe of the bees. Okay, where are they? The bears, isn't it? Bears! Bears for days! Just like everything around here, this lock was crafted with a bear in mind. I love those bears. I feel kind of bad for this dude. Aw, but why did he attack Jack? That's a bigger question. It's a good thing no one saw me helping Jack, otherwise they might have issues. Aw, the bear heart. Oh my gosh. Jack's blow didn't destroy the bear. If I need to, I might be able to fix it. Fix it, please. We gotta fix the bear heart. If you don't mind, that would be helpful. We have another tanker. Break all that. I need the right key to open this. Hmm. Mighty bears have been the symbol of Borgia for centuries. Okay, let's do this. Uh, fragmented object scene. The mark of the goddess. So basically, we want a bunch of gold stuff. Well, I guess technically it's not gold. It looks gold on the bottom, but it's not gold in the scene. They play with the lighting, I guess. I don't know if that's cheating, but... I think the early ones matched almost identical, but these newer ones, they have kind of... They play tricks with the light. So, And also with the scale, too. I guess it's just to add a little extra challenge, right? Look at that, perfection! We now have another thing for the goddess. Snowflake! Let's go back and plunk these right here. I'll take that. It is a artifact part. Aw, uh, shoot, we don't have the rest of that. Uh, I guess just click. Oh no, what are we doing? Move the tokens through the designated spots on the lower part of the table. Each token can only move to adjacent fields with the same token shape. The shape on the field will change when the token passes over it. Okay, so this might take a little bit of trial and error here. So, we need to kind of, oh shoot, see that one's already lost now. Uh, I just made it all squarish. Well, that's going to be a terrible situation here. How in the world am I going to get this square out of here? can't even get back to any circles. Huh. Yeah, now I'm having flashbacks from the beta. This is tricky. Pretty much have to go there. But... How do I... Oh, I think I have to sneak that around there, don't I? Let's see here. Make that go squarish. So now I have to get down here. Maybe. I need the square fella here to. Ah, uh, hmm. That makes it go pink. Let's 
go all the way across here. Okay, so that's gonna help me out a little bit. I think we have to go here. And then basically follow it. I think we got it. I think we got it. Cool puzzle. I like this. This is neat. A little bit of trial error up front, but completely logical. We are a puzzle demon. Actually, that's not what that said, but... And we have a bear claw, which means we can get into the castle. 